Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here from the Copper Canyon. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. We've woken up at 5.30 to come and catch sunrise and I have to say that was one of the best sunrises in my life. It was just perfect. There were no clouds blocking the sun. We saw the sun actually rise and you could just see it shining over the Copper Canyon. There was even a bit of mist and when the sun was shining it just created these light rays through the canyon. It was just absolutely incredible. What a beautiful way to end our stay here in the Copper Canyon. Today is going to be an interesting day. We are leaving the Copper Canyon. We're going to take the only passenger train in all of Mexico out of the Copper Canyon and I'm really excited about that experience. We're going to end up this video in a completely different state of Mexico. So that should be interesting as well. But currently it is very cold. My hands are absolutely numb from the freezing temperatures in the canyon. So we are going to head back before uh, my fingers freeze off. Alright guys, welcome back into Posada Barrancas. I'm back in the town. This is the hotel room and we are going to be leaving soon. As I mentioned, we're taking a train out of the Copper Canyon today. So I've just packed up my stuff and now we are going to check out and we're going to head to the train station, which is just maybe a five, 10 minute walk away. It shouldn't be too far, but the train leaves in about an hour, but we need to be there a little bit early just in case the train arrives early because the last thing we want to do is miss the train. So let's head out. Okay, well, muchas gracias. Of course, before we get onto the train, there is something we need to buy before we leave, water. Well, we finally made it to the train station. Yes, it's literally just a wooden shed in the middle of the forest. You can see behind me, that's just a forest in the mountain. This is the train station and hopefully the train will arrive, um, but we are very, very early. So we're just gonna wait here and hopefully the train will be here before we know it. One thing that's really frustrating about waiting for the train on the on the station here for El Chepe is that there's a lot of like little carriages that go through. So I never have any clue whether it's the actual train or not. So every time I hear a big horn, I get my stuff up, but then it turns out it's never the train. So, oh, it's so stressful, but it is part of the experience and we are going to keep waiting. <laughs> Well guys, we finally made it onto the train. Welcome to El Chipe. functioning passenger train in all of Mexico and it runs right through the Copper Canyon. Now there are obviously many classes that you can take on the train but I've taken the cheapest which is the economic class but it's just incredible the views are amazing. I mean if there's one way to see the Copper Canyon doing it by train has to be the right way to do it. The service on here is amazing you've got seats inside you've got everything you need to but I prefer to just stand by the window and enjoy the view because it really is incredible just looking at the cliffs, looking at the trees, the jungles as you pass by. It's one of the best train rides in the entire world and there's good reason for it because this place is absolutely spectacular. Just absolute 
stunning mountains, rivers, trees, forests. It's everything you could ever dream of for a train ride. And it just goes along the way through. I mean, oh, we're just going over a bridge right now. I don't know if you can see, but it's just absolutely incredible. This has got to be an absolute bucket list item when you come to Mexico. Well, we're gonna take a quick break from the scenery and the beautiful mountains for a bathroom tour of El Chepe. Let's take a look. We've got a pretty nice toilet down here. It's, I think it works, it looks pretty nice, it's clean. You've got a nice sink, you've got soap. It's basically got all your essentials and it doesn't smell. It actually is really, really well kept. It's really, really clean, so thumbs up for the bathrooms here on El Chepe. Now the scenery is amazing, but there is a food car. I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything, but I definitely wanna see what they have to offer. So let's go check it out. So actually they have quite a bit of selection. They have burritos, they have tortas, they have tamales. But because I came on the later half of the ride, they are completely out and the only thing they have left is instant ramen. And I don't feel like getting instant ramen, but they do have some snacks and stuff if you want. So definitely if you're hungry on El Chepe, they've got food for you. even after the sun has set so it's still gonna be a while they're out of food in the back so we're just here surviving on whatever we have but yeah officially the sun is gone now you can't see it anymore it's dark it's almost 8 p.m and we're still pretty far away very 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 long train ride i mean it's currently 11 30 we finally made it to our airbnb here in los mochis which is very very exciting el chepe it's an amazing train ride to do the scenery is amazing but it takes a lot of time i mean we only covered 300 kilometers and it took us nine hours that basically means that they're going at a rate of about 30 kilometers per hour, which is really, really slow. But because it's slow, you're getting to enjoy the scenery. You're seeing the mountains and the forest and, and the water and the river and everything. So it's kind of a trade-off that you'll need to decide whether it's worth it. For me, I thought that at the beginning, it was really worth it with all the scenery, the mountains and everything. As we got closer to Los Mochis, it got kind of tiring and I just wanted to get off the train to be honest. But now I'm here, I've made it, we are no longer on the train and it is so, so satisfying. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I'm super excited. We've left the Copper Canyon and we're gonna start our next leg of the adventure here in Mexico. Subscribe to stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next travel video. Bye guys.